Something I've been experimenting with lately is putting on my liquid foundation with my largest powder brush. I've always heard about it and I wanted to try it. So I gave it a go and I'm really pleased with the results and I can't wait to share it with everybody. So I'm just gonna use regular moisturizer. I'm gonna squirt just a little pearl of that. Oh, that's a lot. So I said a little, let me suck some of that up. You know how that works in reverse in the tube. And I probably won't grab onto all of that. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this moisturizer onto my powder brush. I'll buff the moisturizer or brush it as it were onto the face, really focusing on the highlight areas. So the forehead, the cheeks, across the top of the nose, the top of the lip, and then the chin. I don't need to put a lot of action here in the jawline or down the throat. Because I want the color to fade and blend very nice when I start to apply it. So the moisturizer is just a face prep. So I will take the Smooth Perfection Foundation and give myself one pump of that on the back of the hand now. Using the same brush that I did the moisturizer with, I'm gonna dab into that color and I'm gonna go to the face. So you can kind of see how it's on the brush and it's all distributed. And I'm going to use the length of the, the stick of the brush holding on the end and just moving it around very quickly in circular motions in the highlight areas. So the forehead, between the eyes, I'm getting down on the side of the nose. So if I were to go in slow motion, you'd see that this color goes into all of the nooks and the crannies and the crevices, and it really leaves a very smooth, kind of an airbrushed look without the expense or um, the machinery involved in that. So I went to the hand, get a little more of the color off the back of the hand, and the brush looks very similar, and apply to the other side. Brushing into the corner of the eye like this helps to get under the eye, and you can even move in different directions. So wax on and wax off directions to make sure that you're really getting that incredible buffed and smooth coverage. And that, when I take a closer look in the mirror, is it, that's done. So we have a really smooth canvas to work with now. And if we had any blemishes or other marks that we wanted to fill in or help to correct, we could use concealer at this point. But that smooth, solid cover gives you the no makeup makeup look. At this point, you could build whatever face you wanted. Let's say you were just gonna create a really simple weekend look. So you just buff your color on real quick, you throw on a little gloss, maybe some mascara, and you're out the door. If you wanna do something for work, same thing. You just prep your face very easily, and then maybe do a little bit more with your color application. Totally depends on your personality and your profession. Are you in an office? Are you trendy retail? That's up to you. And then if you're prepping for a wow look, you wanna give yourself an amazing base so that you can build a glamorous eye, some bold, defined, contoured cheeks, and really incredible lips. All of it starts with this really easy application of a powder brush and your liquid foundation. You're fine.